Now the purpose to this video is to prove unto you and to show you how the Bible reveals that repenting from your sins is works. Notice with me in Jonah chapter 3 and in verse 10, in the very first part of it, it mentions, And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. So what are we looking at here? Well, we're looking at the people of Nineveh. The people of Nineveh, they turned from their sins. They repented from their sins. Now God saw this action as works. Now let's ask ourselves, can anyone be saved by their works? Such as repenting from their sins. Well, let's open the Bible and let's go ahead and define and let's see if the Bible tells us that we can be justified by our works. Let's see. Romans chapter 4 verse 4 clearly tells us, Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but, but of debt. So in other words, the person that is working his way is earning himself a huge debt. A huge debt he cannot pay off. That's what it clearly says. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. So a person who is repenting from their sins, or a person who is trusting on how much they've repented from their sins, the Bible is simply saying that you are earning yourself into a huge debt that you cannot pay off. So what is the solution? How can we solve this problem? Well, the very next verse actually gives us a solution. In verse 5 it mentions, But to him that worketh not, such as, you know, repenting from all of your sins, if you're trusting on that. The Bible says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him, that justify the ungodly. His faith is counted for righteousness. Okay, so your works could be on your repenting of your sins. Works could be going to church on every single service. Those could be works. Or how much you've given your tithes. Those are works. Or how much you're, you know, you think, according to your judgment, you, you think that you're good. That's, those are your own works. But the Bible is saying that don't put your faith or don't put your trust on yourself. Don't, don't place yourself on that because what, what you are actually doing is you are earning yourself with a huge step, a huge step you cannot pay off. So you can't get saved in that way. The Bible is saying, but to him that worketh not, but believeth on him. Believe it on who? We're talking about the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The Bible is saying, but believe it on him, that justified the ungodly. His faith, notice that, his faith is counted for righteousness. So if you want your sins to be forgiven, don't place your trust on how much you think that you've repented from your sins. You know, it's going to be a waste of time in counting on yourself. But if you place your faith on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, guess what? You place your faith on Him, you know, it's counted for righteousness. And it's confirmed that every single person in the Old Testament has been saved, not by works, not by their doings, not on how many sacrifices they've done, but because they placed their faith on God. Notice in verse 6 it says, Even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputed righteousness, without works so right there very clearly it's been without works and likewise and similarly Abraham also was saved without works notice how it mentions in verse uh, Romans chapter 4 verses 2 to 3 it says for if Abraham were justified by works he had whereof to glory but not before God and in verse 3 it says for what saith the scripture Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So if you want your sins to be forgiven, just like Abraham, if you want to be a son of Abraham, you must actually place your faith on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's the only way in which you can be, uh, you know, in righteousness in the eyes of God. That's what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 9. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. So, 
I'm telling you, please, according to the scripture, do not place your trust on how much you think that you've repented from your sins. That will not save you. But what will save you once again, and I'm confirming according to the scriptures, and you can read the whole entire Bible on your own, you can find out that the scripture confirms that salvation is a free gift of God only when you place your faith and your trust on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, if you're not 100% sure that you are on your way to heaven or born again, I want to go ahead and encourage them to you to go ahead and click on a video titled, The Bible Way to Heaven.